No matter what sport or activity you play, you must start by understanding the pose method and how it applies to your athletic movements. So let's start with a simple test. Here are a few silhouettes. Just by looking at them, can you tell what activity each of them is playing? If you guessed baseball, golf, basketball, and running, then congratulations, you got them all. But that was pretty easy, wasn't it? You knew them simply because their body positions are so unique that it's hard to confuse it with anything else. Well, here's another secret about these body positions. They're all key positions in their respective actions. You see, the pose method is all about key body positions within a movement. Let's take a baseball pitch as an example. In this clip, our baseball player is throwing the ball. Now, when he throws it, from start to finish, his body goes through an infinite number of body positions. But in this instance, there are only two key positions, or poses, that define the movement. This one here at the start of his throw, and this one here after the throw. An easy way to think about it is the point where the weight of the body is fully being supported before and after the throwing action. All movements have the same biomechanical structure. When our body is in the correct key body position, gravity is interacting with our body at the point of support, resulting in body weight. Through action, we are redirecting the force of gravity into the direction of our desired movement. Then we simply reposition our body into the final key body position. This structure is present in every key movement, which allows us to systematically teach all movements through key poses.